change the theme and the highlight color of my new template site, I've already opened the WCP tab of Web Admin. I'm going to click to go to Admin Panel. Once we're in here, I'm going to go down to Settings and then General Settings. Now, as you can see, there's a couple boxes to add content. And then towards the bottom of the page, there's also a drop down to choose the theme and the highlight color. If we add content into these boxes, they'll show in various areas. For instance, the top nav content and the bottom nav content will show above and below the navigation menu. So if we preview our site, you'll see that this text is now above and below the menu. And then we can add the same thing to the top and bottom content of the page. So this will just show at the very top of the page and the very bottom. So if we refresh, you'll see our text is there and at the bottom. And you can add in any widgets or codes into these boxes and it'll accept it as well. And these checkboxes just dictate what is visible on the page. So if you uncheck them, it'll hide any of these things. The header is where the logo is at the very top of the page. The top navigation is that top menu where you have the home sports, concerts, and theater. The footer is the very bottom of the page. So now if you go there, you'll see your links and your footer will be hidden if you uncheck it. And then the category navigation is just the left-hand menu. And then this head content area is not visible on the actual site, but it lets you add in any scripts that you'd want on each page. In another video, I'll show you how to add in some custom styling to make your page a little more unique into this area. And then the header background color is just the color behind the logo. So right now it's all white, but if we change it to the hex code for black, which is just all zeros, and then save, when we refresh the page, we'll see that the area behind the logo is now black. And then you can come into the theme and the highlight color to change your theme and the color. So if you just choose one from the drop down menu, and then hit save and continue editing so you can easily access the page again. And then once we preview our site, you'll see that our choices pretty much instantly apply. Then if you come into the Google Analytics tracking ID, that lets you add in your tracking code so it'll look very similar to this example. It's not the same thing as the full code, you just need your ID. And then that'll add the page view to all of your pages. And it's not the same thing as the integrated Google Analytics with the premium features. You'll still have to log into your Google account to see any of the results of this data. Whereas with the premium feature, you can just see all of that right in the admin panel. And then lastly, this disable user added content checks checkbox will just disable any of your custom content from showing. So if we go and add back in our text in there, and then we check to disable it and then save. And then we look at the site and you will not see that content, but it will still be saved in our admin panel if we ever just want to recheck to show that. So that way you can preload in any information that you may not want to show at the time. And then once we refresh, you'll see that content is now at the top and the bottom again. And those are the basic general settings of the new template sites. Thanks for watching.